Okay, I'm back again. It's the exact same setup. But I'm really 18.4 volts because the batteries are getting a bit weak. Uh, I have a different needle on it now. This is my old needle, and there's quite a. It's not as. It's, it is a bicycle needle, or a, one for blowing up a basketball, but I have crimped it that it is smaller. This is the very first one that made, and it's much smaller. It seems to work a bit better. There we have bubbles. Okay, you can see. There is a very little flame. Okay, I would like a huge flame. How do I do that? How do I make? How do I make it bigger? That's fast enough to cut through metal. All I want to do is just cut that tin, that can. Okay, so let's give it a try. It's not flashing back, which is good. We could be here a while. Anyway, I'll cut this in. Oh. I like cutting wood instead, it's more fun. Yeah, okay, I know we're out of focus. But YouTube. Ah, decent enough. Okay, this was done with a different torch. This was done with the other torch I have, not the little baby torch. Um, but it's so cool enough that you can just kind of heat stuff up. Yeah, okay, we've got a little tiny glimmer. Okay, I want a much bigger flame. I want one, like, to come out really far. Um, I do like, however, showing that it is just water that you can just glide across it and you can get water to come back out. Uh, there we go. It's probably steam at the moment. The problem what I think is happening is the flames getting sucked in that I don't have enough pressure blowing it out and it's actually burning the needle. That The needle is actually on fire rather than the fire is running on, on the needle. Um, it's getting quite hot. This is uh, made from a, a fuel line and it's made of copper. Uh, it was something just easy and cheap I had and I was afraid that if I had plastic yeah what I was afraid of was if the needle was at, at the end of the plastic when the needle overheated it would melt the plastic and the flame would jump back 